everyone, and welcome one and all to Mod of the Week, and today, well, today we're going to be feeling a little tingle, starting in your foot, working its way up through your body, growing increasingly painful until you fry alive on electricity current too strong for you to notice. Ooh, do we care about Tech 1? I mean, it's kind of fitting, given I, I realise I moved on very rapidly from playing you're all about to be electrocuted to death. I mean, admittedly, I shouldn't have said anything, because now you're not going to find it shocking. <laughs> oh, man, you ever make a joke that's so funny, your right leg jiggles up and down after you say it? No, I've not done that before either, but right there, right there, I just experienced it. So, I've got a spacebar item and a passive. We're also be going to get again, 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 be getting one extra later on, but not right now. No, indeedy do. Ooh, the nun outfit is going to be quite good for us right now. That was a pretty good chest, just a free bomb. So what does this do? Well, you place it. Let's place it here, right? It's a Tesla coil. You place it, and then wherever you go, it just extends a bit of electricity to you. Is that not fantastic? We're in greed mode to test this because of course we are because uh, it means I can place multiple and have multiple electricity coils coming at me, which is obviously going to be fantastic. You also might be seeing little bolts of light from the sky. That's the other one I've got, an item called Inspiration, which basically randomly strikes people with a crack the sky lightning just every now and then for giggles. And honestly, if you did have the power to call down a beam of disintegrating holy light just for the, you know, just for the kicks, we both know that you would do, but I've actually had a really, really sad day. It's probably why I was thinking about death, honestly, because I've very nearly experienced death. Not me personally, or, or anyone I know, at least not today. <laughs> no, it's actually really sad, because I, I found a dying animal, and it's always... Always bad when that happens, because, you know, you're there with a, with a choice, right? You leave it dying, or you do something about it. You look at your clock, and you're like, what's my schedule like? Is is this worth it? No, no, obviously you try and help if you uh, can do. At least you should, right? Because, you know, imagine if there was a giant race of super intelligent super beings that lived on Earth, and you broke your leg one day, and were slowly dying in, like, a in like a ravine somewhere in the middle of, like, a barren wasteland, and one of them wandered along like, ho oh, there, and saw you slowly dying, but then went, oh, I'm not sure if I have time to save you as the super busy, super intelligent, super being that I am, oh, and just left you in pain and to slowly die of starvation. It would kind of suck, right? That's how I like to imagine when you... Uh, see an injured animal. Also, how cool is this? Look at, look at that. That's fantastic. So, unfortunately, a hedgehog got into the garden and managed to get itself tangled in some netting. The netting goes across the pond to prevent birds and stuff eating the fish. So, the irony is a thing designed to prevent animals dying actually caused an animal to nearly die. So, really, I'm not sure how I feel about all of this. Oh, I really love all this tingling. I, I guess, actually, I shouldn't say that mid talking about something that's dying. Oh, it was really sad, but I really do love this tingling, you know, it's it's one of those things. Oh my god, I mean, it's not crazy effective or anything, but it is a, a lot of fun. What do we got for our devil deal? Uh, nothing too great. A uh, black rune that we don't really care about, and an algiz? I guess we'll take the algiz just in case we end up having a use for it. So obviously we're going to take this so we can... Oh, I would love to be able to afford the blank card, but alas, a lack is not to be. Down we go. <laughs> so, the hedgehog was not in a very good state. It managed to get its front right leg tangled in the netting, and clearly it was thrashing around trying to escape, and made the whole thing worse. And obviously in the... <laughs> well, me 
delete the other new item that we were going to get today that apparently is just, is just here. I mean, I'll take this as a sign that we need to get it. It gives us a bit of a tear up, but what it basically means is when you shoot left, you're shooting yellow. When you shoot up, it's blue. When it's right, it's red. And when it's down, it's green. And each one of these has its own effects. How cool is that? You know, we got fire, poison. I'm not sure what yellow does, but blue leaves a little bit of a splash on the ground, as you can see. But I really, really like it. It's very nice, very colorful. And the reason why I'm comboing it with this is because it synergizes beautifully. Depending on what side of the Tesla I'm on, it changes the color of the beam connected to me. And I think that's fantastic. It goes really well together, you know? Like a, a really cute little t-shirt and just some sexy little boots. You know, that's I'm, I'm pretty sure that's a thing. I don't know, I'm not really into, into um, body covering. That's my way of saying clothes because I'm totally hip and edgy like that. Oh, so yeah. It was not in a good way, its leg was super caught up, and obviously the thrashing had tightened it round so it would dug in, and y you can imagine, right? It's very injured, it's exhausted, it's starving, it's dehydrated, it's, it's on death's door, so... I am like, oh god, this, I need to, I need to help this thing, it's clearly in a lot of pain, so I uh, got some scissors and managed to, uh... No, I didn't just put it out of its misery. Let's, I, I probably should clarify that. Quickly. So I got some scissors and ended it. Which, I mean, to be fair, would also have been a humane thing to do. Because I have no knowledge of how to properly care for a hedgehog. Either way, I cut it out of the netting and hoped that it would start walking away. Maybe it wasn't as injured as I thought. But no, it was just lying there occasionally moving. But not having a good time of it whatsoever. So I made it a little... Uh, Made it a little box of like a nest so it could just sit in there and be at least somewhat comfortable, not just be out in the open, not be tempting for any predators or anything. And looked at what they eat. Fortunately, they eat bugs and I own lizards, so I have bugs, so I offered it some mealworms. And well, it just kind of looked at them and, you know, kept lying there being in pain. So it was really sad. So obviously, I'm like, well, I need. What? What did I just die to? Look, it's saying I killed myself. I didn't kill myself. What? So even watching the footage back, I I was on two hearts, didn't get hit by anything, and then I just died. So perhaps there is some sort of bug going on? Oh, non-leaf is suddenly very good, isn't it? Oh, I say, I do declare that is what is good. Because obviously, we could just do this, and then go like that, and then everything's going to kill itself as it tries to press against my stony body. Why is that slab of meat sliding away from me? That's a really weird interaction. On it. Why does it just slide away from me? <laughs> That's so weird. That genuinely is really, really weird. All right, well, we'll leave it like that for now. So yeah, I set it up in, an, in a box nest and did what I could for it. And obviously I needed someone to come and look after it, come and take it away and give it the care that it needs because I had no way of getting it to a vet. But even then it was a Sunday, so the vets were closed and they're not, they don't open up for an emergency wildlife, which I found was really stupid, at least ones that I could reasonably get to in a time. And I started ringing numbers, uh, a local hedgehog society, a uh, national one, the RSP. PCA and basically it was a ridiculous amount of hoops that I had to jump through in order to find something to get help for this poor thing like it's absolutely ridiculous it being Sunday again really didn't help but it was just abs it was so sad how hard it was to find someone willing to come and help this thing eventually after, like, couple hours, the RSPCA sent someone round to come and get it, which was obviously really good, and it got taken away, and that's all fine. But it was, it blew me away how long and how many hoops I had to jump through just to get someone to come and help this thing. It was ridiculous. I rung, like, seven different people who all told me to ring other people. It was just, just like a rabbit hole of... 
of a sadness, because obviously the longer it took for me to find someone, the lower its chances of survival was. <laughs> it's a real traumatic phone call experience, honestly. Uh, and the thing is, if I hadn't been able to get anyone by the end of the day, I would have had a really awkward choice to make, because the thing wasn't living much longer. It was really not in a good state, which meant that I had to either let it die slowly in agony, or obviously put it out of its misery, and while it's the humane and correct decision, it's obviously not an easy thing to just, well, kill the fucker. I, I mean, I, it probably wasn't a fucker, I'm, I'm sure it was a lovely upstanding member of the Hedgehog community, that was, that was definitely unfair of me, I assure you I am not Hedgehog racist, but either way I would have had to have put it down, and it was starting to get to the time when I was considering, alright, it needs, it needs to happen, when the dude pulled up to come look after him, so I'm glad the timings weren't a little bit worse there, because there was every chance he would have walked, got to the house, knocked on the door, walked round to the garden to see me drowning a hedgehog. I mean, I say drowning, I, I probably would have done it in a more sensible way. In fact, I don't know how I even would have done it. If it might actually be the way to go. I mean, maybe a quick neck break. I, I didn't want to think about it, right? It's not like it was something I was rubbing my hands and looking forward to. Jesus. But there was every chance, based on the timing of when he arrived, that if he was maybe 10, 15 minutes later, that's what he would have walked in on. And that's not a good impression, is it? Oh, hey, people dedicated to uh, stopping animals from being harmed. I'll be with you in a moment. I'm just finishing this off, which obviously you would have understood based on what was happening, but it's not a good impression, is it? But fortunately, I was saved from having to do anything like that. So as it turns out, all is well with the world. Well, I, I really hope the uh, hedgehog pulls through because I love hedgehogs. They're fantastic creatures. And it's really weird that I seem to be making a habit of rescuing them. This is the second hedgehog that I found in a really bad situation, rescued and uh, tried to my best to get it help and nurse it back to health. I don't know why this keeps happening to me. It's a really weird curse to be on. But I mean, I'm, I'm, I'd rather it be in my garden than someone who would just ignore it and let it die, you know. So I guess we got that going for me. Oh, so there you go. That's that's my day. How was your day, everyone? Oh, God. All right. So I really need to die as soon as possible, you know, like at my earliest convenience and uh, trigger uh, Judas's shadow because that's obviously a huge damage boost. I don't know if any of my damage things are relative to the... Uh, damage that I'm doing, like is this Tesla cannon based on my damage or anything? It very well could be. I kind of want to wait till the last wave to die, just because I think that would be a better decision. Save my charge. Ooh, I have no idea what wave it will put me on if I die. Oh, well, I guess we're about to find out. Uh, and of course it put me in there. That was a... I, I should have seen that coming, admittedly. I, I should have seen that coming. And we also got tear bombs this time, and woo! See, it even respects it, which is great. Because obviously this floor is great to go Judas' Shadow on because there is raw liver here, which gives us a lot of potential. So now we should absolutely start hammering things with this damage. Yeah, look how quickly we freaking killed a mushroom. Normally they are very, very tanky. Oh, we actually got sent back quite a few waves because I assume there was like a couple stragglers from earlier waves that we just didn't finish. I did not notice that guy. He was a stealth zombie. <laughs> Which admittedly is actually quite a terrifying concept when you uh, think about it like that. Oh my god. That is so unfair. Like, why? Why a wave of freaking homing troll bombs? <laughs> it's so difficult to deal with. Mm, do I? Yeah, I'll put a second Tesla coil down just in case. Careful. We don't want to get any more murdered than we already are. It's a good job that raw liver was there, because obviously we would be very dead. Why was there two little extra midgets that came with the big splodge? Like, come on! Also, as a sentence, that one is definitely... Definitely up there. That is... that is fine. Alright, double deal. Oh, God. I mean, actually, this shouldn't be too bad. Oh, my God. Can we... Seriously, though? Seriously? I died before he even landed! Fucking cage, and it's fucking broken bullshit fucking... Ah! Ah! <laughs> I feel like I've just stepped on a rake. Once more, we return to the fray. 
and hope for a better day to see us on our way. Oh, I wonder then. Yeah, we get the multicolors at once. That's fantastic. Obviously, we're in an awkward situation now. Did we just get a health up from that? I swear you don't normally get a health up from that. We do, however have ourselves a possible, hopefully, if both of this gives me a coin halo to get- Ah, come on! Maybe this one. I'll take a couple keys, that's absolutely fine. Do I want to just skip the floor? Just nope out of here? That would be pretty cool, but actually, no, it wouldn't be pretty cool. That's like, like I, I don't think cowardice is celebrated as cool, really anywhere now that I think about it. All right, so we should be able to blow through these guys quite quickly. Suddenly this got intense and obviously when it's intention gotta sing. I wish that was just a thing in movies. During any action scene when things are really hitting the fan, just singing. Musicals are great. More things need to be musical, all right? I mean, if crime was musical, it would still be bad, but it would be at least, I mean, very different when the, uh, News outlets reported on it. A man held two hostages at gunpoint. We have shocking footage of the scene. Do as I say or I'll make you pay. Do as I say or I'll blow you away. Don't test me cause I'll kill you. Yes. I will. Ah, please don't. We will listen to you. Uh, you know, it, it's still bad, but at the same, maybe I'm maybe I'm not onto a winner here. I, I guess I could see why someone might find this inappropriate. <laughs> oh, of course, there was two of them. They always come in pairs. I should have remembered that damn ecology of the poly for polypol. All right, if you could die, please, that would be wonderful. And I can't help notice how we have a Mr. Fred here. Is he by himself, or does he have multiple Fredericks? I think he is being a lone wolf, which is good for us, because it's less killing to do, you know? Less less effort, you know? Less, less lasers to be fired, which I, I think is always a distinct advantage. We'll be able to kill him quite quickly, careful. In fact, actually, yeah, if we just sit down here and fire, then... He can't actually do anything, and then we just kill him. I, I think that's the way to go here. I do want to... Oh, I'm going to. I'm going to be a coward and assume that I will need this, because is there two of them? There is two of them! I checked this time before just instantly getting dunked on by one of them. Are you proud of me? <clears throat> I'm proud of me. Go on. No, you were supposed to both fire your goddamn lasers, and then I could have uh, hit you both really for free. Yes, there we go. I mean, not completely in sync, admittedly, but still definitely fine. That one was fine, too. Yep, fire it again. Lovely. We're actually... Oh, that guy was sneaky. He just predicted my movements and fired a laser knowing it would get me. Wow, I am impressed. They are learning. Their tactics are advancing. Soon, Monstro can open a door. Actually, that's not true. Monstro can never open a door because he has no, no appendages. In fact, that's actually really sad. How could Monstro ever hope to love someone when all he can do to show affection is slam his face and squishy, rotting body against them? Think of all the monstros in the world that go without true love. <laughs> oh, woe is me. We don't need range. We have infinite amounts, literally infinite amounts of range. And the game is like, I, I have I got a deal for you. Have I got a deal for you here at Bargain Bin Deals? I will give you infinite range with infinite range free. Yes, indeed. All for the easy price of a 990 disappointment. Okay, so the real question is, do I care about experimental treatment? Uh, I'm tempted, but at the same time, oh, it's a difficult one, it's a difficult one, it's a difficult one. I... <clears throat> I need to think about this. All right, having thought about it, I've decided, nah, we can probably get away without experimental treatment. Like, the chances of it actually being useful anyway are very, very slim. And I do think the Tesla coil permanent lightning to me is actually based on my damage, because it does definitely 
seem to be more effective. All right, now we have this kind of lovely cone going on. So if anyone wants to try and come towards me, they've got to somehow get past all my death. And look, they're struggling. They're struggling. You're going to try and brimstone me? Yeah, I thought so. Ooh, careful. Careful. Oh, it was... Oh, of course a fucking explosive enemy spawns on top of me, on my face. That is so unfortunate. <laughs> all right. Who are our bosses? Actually, that's fine. We can just keep blasting away at this dude. Oh, look at the lasers in the darkness! What the worm? Um... <laughs> what the fuck just happened? <laughs> Guys, what just happened to me? Seriously, though, what just happened to me? <laughs> what the fuck just happened to me? I just got catapulted around the room. I am so confused right now. I... What? What the fuck? <laughs> That's an interesting little bug. Um, okay. That's... That's fine. I guess we'll take an extra... An extra heart. What the fuck was that? I mean, don't get me wrong, that was awesome, and I'm glad we got to experience that together. But at the same time, what the hell? Oh, we don't have a re-roller on the final floor. That is so, so tragic. That is absolutely just uh, so tragic. Absolutely tragic. I'm going to do this one and then hope that we get a bomb. Oh, we didn't get a bomb. See what's in here? Oh, it might be good. Nope, nope, it's not good. At least we, I guess we only lose half the health going in here. So really, huh, I guess I'm going to grab you just in the hopes that we get something good. That's not good. I mean, I'm going from this one because it's the half price one. The battery is actually good. And uh, the rest of it. Not so much. I guess we'll try Mama. Why is it all space bar items? Stop giving me space bar items. Oh, man. I Well, actually, I guess I should use this. Because it'll blow up the room. Which, at least, will make me feel better. I, I don't really know what I was what I was thinking. If I'm honest with you, I, I actually have no... No real... Alright, look. Some some things happened between, between then and now. That I, uh... That I, I just, look, I just, I just need you all to understand that I tried my best, but I, I did not succeed, you know, because I got what I wanted, but not what I needed, and I'm stuck in reverse, uh, and I couldn't say where the road goes, where the pain goes. And I'm in the arms of an angel. This happened to me. I made a mistake. And um, what you say? I only meant well. And another sad song. Darkness, my old friend. Wait, that's not how you say that one. Although that would be a really cool rap, wouldn't it? Yo, hello, darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk to you again. Because I see a vision softly. Swim, swimming. Yes, yeah, swimming. That's my new word is swimming. It's a good word. It's gleaming. Yeah, it's going to be teeming with linguistic satisfaction. All right. I Hi, hi everyone. <laughs> So there was a jump cut because I had to go deal with some real life stuff. I got back, I started playing, and I instantly died because of the bug that just instantly killed me again. So here we are again with a slightly different assortment of items, but basically the same. And we're doing a very, very good job at murdering everything, which is obviously just fantastic. Oh, yeah, look, see, right there, right there, I just took two bars, two, two health, two hearts in one go. And look, I'm permanently flashing. That's so weird. That is so weird. Why does that happen? I'm just going to die. Like, how am I supposed to deal with that? This seems absolutely bullshit. I, is that just a side effect of playing with high amounts of voltage? I mean, I guess to be fair, 
I could totally accept that as being a uh, downside. You know, you have got a lot of electricity and it's going everywhere and that's probably a little bit dangerous and you, you gotta you gotta accept those things. Alright, we're doing a lot of damage and cool. Alright, Devil Deal, give me the goods. Eh, it's not really the goods that I need. I am very concerned for our onslaught on greed. I say onslaught on greed. We're gonna we're gonna probably die very quickly. Um I would say. Oh, we might not even live through this room. Uh this is this is a problem. This is a problem, though admittedly, I really come on. It's so sad. Ah. Oh. All right. And click. Oh my god, it suddenly I am healthy again. I can't believe this this would happen. That's insane. Ah. Oh. How beautiful is this from a light show perspective? Oh, that's fantastic! <laughs> Look at these li Oh, that's what we need right here. That is fantastic! <laughs> that's so good! Okay, I don't even care what happens. It was completely worth it for this experience. Look at this! That's just so fantastic and I can just walk around and everything dies what a genius item so so much fun and the thing is it's not actually that inherently powerful not without a loads of support items to obviously power it up so that's really what you want something that's interesting by itself not broken but has the potential to just be absolutely amazing when you combo it with other things and that is exactly what they have achieved here. Oh, all the different color glowing. I mean, you know how big of a fan I am of your glowing stuff. You know, I just really like glowing stuff. It's, I hope dearly that I never be in a position where I see genuine nuclear waste because the temptation to jump in it is going to be so strong. Yes, come at me, zombies. Let's see what happens. Do you dare face the lightning? <laughs> oh, 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 that one actually got to me. Oh, there we go. I just lost two health out of nowhere, thanks to uh, having this synergy. This sucks so much. You just die. You just actually have to die because you're using this. This is so sad. I mean, it's totally worth it because it's absolutely amazing. But at the same time, the combo of this different colors for different directions and this Tesla is just fantastic. Oh, it really, really is. Especially the red one. The red glow is absolutely phenomenal. I love it so much. I rightly, rightly do. Yes, get melted. Oh, oh it's glorious. Careful, careful. Everything's fine. Nobody panic. Everything is gonna be okay. Yeah, every little thing is gonna be alright. Because we're gonna have a, a right roaring fight. Where I'm gonna use all of my might, but it's gonna be tight. So we might not win the fight. Okay, oh great. Don't back into a zombie. No! Bloody bug Nora! You know how many times I've died? Well, you do, because you've, you've seen them all, except one. But I told you about that one. So that many! The amount that you've seen plus one! <laughs> Ah, oh, there you go, guys. Like if you enjoyed this, subscribe for more, and I will see you next time. Oh, good boy. You